Hello people, welcome back to another poorly edited video. In today's video, I'm gonna be explaining you the entire Project Flight Trello page and basically showing you what's gonna be coming in the upcoming updates. Okay, so first of all, the next update, which is gonna be update 7.5, we're gonna get private ATC stuff for server hopper. So, um, I, I don't know what to say. Next up, we have working jetways. This is not confirmed, but you know, I hope it gets added anyways. Moving on to the new spawn hangar. The current hangar in the game is actually underground somewhere in Punta Cana airport. And I think they're gonna change its location. Next up, we have Typhoon Cockpit. Now this is something that I have been waiting for for such a long time. And yes, there are videos of this on YouTube already. Next up, we have improved aircraft lights. As you can see from this picture, the game just looks a bit more realistic because of the lighting. And uh, yeah, this just looks cool. Next up, we have aircraft windows. This looks cool. I don't know what to say next. Moving on to update 8. First of all, we have a UI update. This is what the UI used to look like. And this is what the UI looks like now. And I think they'll change it again in update 8. So that's cool. Next up, we have... Len Len how how Lanarka International Airport. This looks so cool. This looks so detailed. And yeah, as you can see, this is what it's gonna look like from the top, I think. And yeah, this is what it looks like in real life. So yeah, it's gonna be pretty cool. Moving on to update 8.5. Now this looks like a massive update. First of all, we're getting a Gatwick revamp, which is cool. And then we are getting four new airports that is great and one of those airports is the madeira airport i hope i'm pronouncing that right but yeah this is what it looks like with the crazy approach angle and then we have grand canaria replacement or revamp i don't want grand canaria to be replaced but i think a revamp would be good and then they're gonna be killing katila just like boa vista and then we have sonic boom vapor cone water trail cinematic camera mode and i'm excited for a cinematic camera mode and then we have suffering and anguish um so i think these things are gonna be put in either update 8.5 or update 9 or they're just gonna make a whole new update like the update 8.75 and there's gonna be autopilot vertical speed finally you don't climb like an old grandma then we have severe weather and dynamic weather comes with physics okay i think they're gonna add like crosswind and then we can recreate crosswind landings so that's cool and then courier slash ground crew update update 9 obviously none of this is confirmed but yeah so first of all we're getting a few ground crew vehicles i think this is a fire truck and actually i think this is already in game it's parked at one of the airports so yeah and then we're getting black panther i guess and then next up we have the cargo loader baggage carts ground crew vehicles cargo loading functionality fuel system passengers loading of course there won't be any npcs and jet bridge functionality task based missions like ptfs economy system purchasable via robux okay Tech trees 747 being the highest tier purchased in pf currency fire services international hv fuel truck freight liner business class m2 first of all what the hell what is this uh i guess there's gonna be like a currency system where if you complete the tasks and then you can buy planes with money and uh 747 is gonna be the highest plane that you can buy with money moving on to cockpits boeing 737 which is already in game Euro fighter typhoon cockpit is gonna be coming soon and then we have the baron g58 cockpit i cannot wait for this because i really like this plane and uh yeah it's just gonna, gonna be cool seeing this cockpit in game and then we have some aircraft related suggestions cabin plus npc passengers uh, this is of course not gonna be coming in the game because i mean that would just make the game so laggy and we have a mini map overhaul the current mini map is a bit confusing and uh boring i guess so yeah next up replay mode i don't know how they're gonna do it but and then i guess upcoming features client rework i don't know what that is then we have a functional aircraft carrier with a catapult launch i'm gonna land the biggest plane in the game on that and then we have customizable hard points what is a hard oh okay so basically we're gonna have air to air refueling 
and then there's this airport under consideration key west international airport this is what it looks like in real life i think so that's cool i guess now there are a lot of airport suggestions here one of these are confirmed and in progress i guess shannon airport and then i don't know what reserved means but the princess juliana international airport that is gonna be interesting i hope there's like a plane spotting place thingy now here are some aircrafts that are being worked on um the door I'm not even gonna try to pronounce this but this is what it looks like and we have the c-130 um cool then we have the dhc-7 also cool then we have the boeing 767-300 also cool and then we have a ton of military aircrafts with airbus a220 i mean the e195 e2 and then the boeing 707 the global 6000 and twin order with uh skis floats and tires and there are a lot of aircraft suggestions here but these are the best ones in my opinion a10 warthog a400m atlas c17 antonov an-2 illusion l96 airbus a310 and then the douglas dc-8 and then this is the saddest part rejected suggestions slash distant future a380 the boeing 747 and the combat system all of these are in the distant future i mean they're not rejected yet but i hope they all get added soon and if you're wondering what the combat system is that's basically i think throwing missiles at each other and there we go that's everything in the project flight trello let me know down below in the comments what you're excited for the most and here are some suggestions for the project flight developers. Number 1. Replace the background with the Air India Airbus A350. No, I'm kidding, but if they want to do that, do that. Third, if they add Victor Alpha Bravo Bravo, which is Mumbai Airport, to the game, I will literally wear this dress and hold up a sign near a road and, and the developers decide what's on the sign. Anyways, thank you all for watching. If you like this video, why not hit that like button and subscribe while you're at it and uh see you guys in the next one bye bye